Let's talk about putting a roof on a yurt. Yeah, we're super excited. This is awesome that we have the all the rafters up. Hopefully we'll get at least half of the yurt layers on the, the cover and the insulation. Hopefully we can get on tonight and then just have to put the cover and sidewall on tomorrow, which shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad. I feel like I need to clarify some terms I used. Uh, when I recorded this video back in September, I used three parts of the roof and sort of interchanged the terminology. We have the roof lining, which is a white fabric that we see from the inside of the yurt, and that covers up the Reflectix insulation, which is a silvery bubble wrap insulation that honestly isn't that pretty to look at. We have the cover, or like the actual roof layer that covers everything, keeps us dry, all that good stuff. Those are the three layers. <laughs> Those are the three layers that we have. Um, um. So cool. Ooh wee! Look at that cool roof. <sighs> Hopefully by tomorrow we'll have the whole roof up so don't have to worry about these few little holes in the roof. This is just the cover so you don't have to look at the Reflectix insulation, which is not the prettiest thing. It was a good day. We finished the day feeling great, we got a lot accomplished, and as I usually tend to do, felt like uh, we'd get everything done in the following day. But of course, as things often do, we hit some snags, and we were forced to come up with some creative solutions to make things work. on. The dome is up. The year is done. We decided to go for an open air uh, atmosphere this year, so we're just going to leave it without walls. And it's going to be just really nice and breezy and cool. So of course, putting up the yurt couldn't go 100% smoothly. As you can see, we now have sidewalls, but they're not really sidewalls, it's tarps. So when we got to putting the sidewall cover on the yurt, we ran into some pretty big issues that really rained on our parade a little bit. We left our sidewall, canvas sidewall, out under a tarp all summer. Not a good idea, I don't recommend doing that. It got musty and a little bit moldy, not super moldy, but moldy enough that we didn't want to hang it up and then try to clean it or have to just have a moldy sidewall. That would be gross. We had to figure out how to solve two big problems. How are we gonna clean our sidewall so it didn't smell musty and get the little bits of mold off of it that had formed? And how are we going to hang it up to dry? How are we gonna hang up 100 feet of heavy canvas fabric 
off the ground. So I'm now devising a pulley rope system to hang it. Hopefully we can figure out a good way to hang it up so that this really heavy side wall here will hopefully not sit on the ground by the time it's all up. dark. We got the sidewall hung up so that we can wash it off before we actually hang it up. We used a soft bristle brush and some dial soap to scrub it down really good, scrubbed it really good. Then we got a pressure washer and sprayed it clean. This was an interesting process. We got soaking wet doing it, but we were left with a, a fresh sidewall cover. Unfortunately, I didn't film putting the sidewall up. If you wanna see sort of how it goes up, you can watch us taking it down on this video, that's in that video. I didn't film it this time. Got this awesome toy for my five-year-old for his birthday. Little like UFO drone, lots of fun. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. <laughs> What can a pressure washer do? I mean, there's lots of stuff a pressure washer can't do, but they're a fun, handy little tool. Mm-hmm. Ah, so, what have we learned from building a yurt two times and taking it down two times? We've learned a lot. Hopefully you've liked watching these videos. As you can see, I'm sitting in the yurt. We've shown bits and pieces of the yurt in other videos. And if you wanna see more of what the inside looks like, go to our Instagram, all paths lead to water. Um, same as this channel's name. And you can see more of what the inside actually currently looks like. Dingling the bell, subscribe. Get notified. Um, how do I say goodbye? Peace. See ya. Later. Alligator. <laughs> oh, this is three minutes. This is gonna have to be hard to edit. <laughs>